Hello guys and welcome to another Tech Aid video today. As you can see we are doing a Titanfall 2 video. Uh, this is going to be a bee hopping tutorial and a tutorial on how to get out of the oh, gauntlet area. Um, so first of all what you want to do is you want to learn how to bee hop. Bee hopping is the, one of the most basic things that you Just for advanced as well. Uh, air strafing is when you get more into the advanced area though, so if you learn how to air strafe, that's great. Anyway, B hopping. So, first of all, you want to push this stick forward and then you want to jump. And then, it see, actually, I forgot to mention for this, you want to have all like hold to crouch, you want to have hold to crouch switched on. And that will allow you to keep hold of the RB button and that will just keep you crouched, like this. So you don't, basically, so then you don't need to keep going like this. Which gets really annoying and tedious. I did it for a long time. It really, like, it, it stopped me from performing to my best ability. And B hopping is a pretty crucial thing if you're going to be playing online multiplayer. And speedrunning. So anyway. So what you want to do is you want to keep hold of forward on the stick and then jump and then while you're in the air you just want to like you, you want to pull your stick to one side while you're in the air and you also want to keep hold of RB at the same time like so and then that what that'll do is it'll give you like a boost and then each time that you want to hit the ground sorry each time that you hit the ground you want to press your jump button while holding your crouch button still so you want to like do this oh that was wrong you want to do this like that and like you can sort of implement that into your movement like this now the way that I move my stick is all to do with air strafing air strafing is basically how you move while B hopping and if you you can also B hop in a different way B hopping can also be done like this but this one's a much harder one to get down, so like this. Oh, I, I cannot do it by the way. It's basically jumping while you're on your feet, but it's really not that good. Slide hopping, that's what this is called officially. It's like the most, it's just the best way to move from Titanfall 2. Unless you're using like grenade boosts and stuff. You don't really want to be double jumping while be hopping either. You want to be hitting the ground you start jumping you can double jump for like say if you're not going to make this and double jump there and then that'll like help you but otherwise you really don't want to be double jumping because double jumps uh, slow you down um so you have to like your lb and then your rb and then you keep on hitting lb every time that you touch the floor so if you put that to practice with air strafing as well air strafing i'm going to teach you how to do that but this is only a quick tutorial it's not very it's not very extensive you just sort of push your stick to one side like your left stick your, your movement stick and then it would has to be fully to the way that you want to go so if I want to go right I'll be pushing this fully to the right and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll like push my right stick slightly to the right like this so I'm mo moving still and like moving my like, so I'm looking over there slower and then that'll like it's a hard thing to explain to why it does it, but it's basically it it basically manipulates the movement and uh, allowing you to change direction more quickly in the air. Like and sorry, no, not change, change. It's not changing direction more quickly. It's uh, it's preserving momentum more. So yeah, that's the bee hopping tutorial. Time to teach how to get out of the gauntlet. So that, that's what you want to do. So you want to wait until like the second beepish, like like one or two beeps, and then you want to let go and just sort of walk, like run or walk forward. Well, run forward, and then you don't actually have to jump up. Some for some reason I sort of do, and it just sort of ends up working like a lot of the time. So you can give it a go. It usually takes me about five, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd say about five tries. Five to anywhere between about five and twenty tries, depending on if I get lucky or not. Uh, basically, you'll notice that there's no enemies. It doesn't class you as being inside of the gauntlet. Like, there's no timer, there's no speedometer, anything like that. That's basically because the game doesn't register. Like, it didn't register you going through the barrier, so it's not like activating the whole gauntlet thing that it usually does. And because of that, this area doesn't load when you come through that door over there. Basically meaning that um, you can come straight out of the gauntlet and come up here. Now to get out, you just want to sort of jump off this wall, then this wall, and then up and around. And there's like an invisible barrier here. Anyway, you can't fall down these. These have invisible barriers. Same with this. Has a big invisible barrier going over it. Big right here, look, like you can walk on this. That's fine, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just a big barrier. Uh, I'm going to show you one place where there is not a barrier and you're, at, you're very much at risk of falling through there and ruining it. Ruining it. Um, let me show you. It's just over here. Right here. If you fall down there, you'll get like a white screen like what you would do if you fall down when you're in the gauntlet and like you'll spawn back like either outside of the gauntlet or, ins or inside of the gauntlet area, one of the two. Um, there's also this weird tearing glitch over here, basically, it, like, yeah, it's weird. I won't do that too much though because, well, epilepsy. Um, to get um, over, like, usually this is an, uh, this is an inaccessible part of the gauntlet over here if you're doing gauntlet only. But if you're not doing gauntlet only and instead you're doing training, then you can come over here and stuff. But um, otherwise, the way that you get over here is I'm pretty sure you just fall down here. If I remember correctly. Nope. That's not how you do it. I'm still working on how to do that. Um, I will upload another short video on how to do that later if I do figure it out. Anyway, just spawn me back into the glitched area. You can tell because there was no enemies or anything like that. So we can just get straight back into it without having to do the glitch again. Now basically, the reason why that works, uh, the reason why this glitch works is because you move too quick for the trigger to notice you like being there. So like you basically move through the trigger without it even noticing because it checks so many times per second and you move quicker than how often it checks and if you do it fast enough then obviously you get through. Like piles in this game can move a lot quicker than 50 kilometers per hour as it, it's, it says on your speedometer like it maxes out at 50 kilometers per hour but you can move a lot quicker than that. With grenade boosting and stuff, I think this is just an estimate, but I think you go roughly around about 75 kilometers per hour, maybe a bit more. Um, so yeah, you can like explore over here, this sort of area. Uh, that was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, you can just sort of like look out into the like open scenery around the uh, area. It's pretty cool. So like you've got like all these hills, you've got like mountains in the background. Like over there, it's like reflecting off the water. It's pretty cool actually, like really beautiful game, not gonna lie. You can like run on all these walls and stuff. Also a quick way to get back up if you're on one of these walls like this, is you wanna get to one of these areas. And because they're both registered as completely different walls, you can wall jump and still gain height and then get back up. Just a useful little tip. That works on all uh, games, whether that's multi. I'm pretty sure that if you've been playing Titanfall 2 for even like a day, then you should really know that. But hey, just how it is. Anyway, 
this was my tutorial on how to get out of the gauntlet on and on how to be hop and uh, I will see everyone next week for the next video and remember that top place up there is a very good place for practicing bee hopping because it's nice open and flat anyway thank you for watching and goodbye